Hi, I'm Chappie with Forge Tactical for Surefire's Field Notes. Today I'd like to talk about one of the pillars of CQB, which is violence of action. It's generally understood or generally taught that there's three pieces to CQB. Traditionally, these three pillars are speed, surprise, and violence of action. Violence of action is not, in my opinion, running through the house with your hair on fire, rappelling down from the ceiling in ninja costumes. That is not violence of action. Violence of action refers to the moment in time when you are trying to overwhelm an angle of exposure that you're not currently exposed to uh, with an angle of attack. So it's basically the application of sudden explosive force. So violence of action is a momentary thing. Uh, it's something that we apply when necessary. Uh, where it fits into that triad of CQB, the speed, surprise, and violence of action, we combine momentum, which is what people really mean when they say speed. I'm not a fan of moving fast. I'm a fan of, of creating and maintaining momentum. Momentum is the constant pressure uh, that we apply inside of a structure. We don't even necessarily have to be moving to apply that pressure. Simply standing in a, outside of an open door applying your flashlight to an area can deny it to some enemies. That is momentum. You are, you are forcing them to do what you want them to do. When we combine momentum with violence of action, we create the element of surprise. And surprise is the result we're looking for because surprise allows us to get and maintain for the longest period of time possible a concept called relative superiority. It is that period of time when you're attempting to overwhelm a superior foe, uh, and that superiority can be created by the fact that they're in a fixed defense, or it can be a numerical superiority. It is that period of time that we have when they are not expecting us where we are, and we are attacking them and not letting them adjust to the situation. So we're practicing violence of action as part of a larger uh, strategy to create relative superiority. Violence of action and application, the mechanics of it are, once you've decided to cross a line of departure, and a line of departure is an area past which uh, you have no cover and you have to dominate the next space. It's generally through a threshold uh, of a door or an angle. In order to execute violence of action properly, uh, you have to expect to find a threat around every corner. This is an issue we see a lot teaching CQB. People get very complacent dealing with lines of departure and angles of exposure. Uh, they turn so many corners where nobody is. When they do turn a corner where there's somebody, them and the bad guy are basically on even footing with reacting. The key factor in cultivating a mindset of expecting a threat around every corner is to expect a threat around every corner. Every time I come to a point to a line of departure where I'm going to have to take an angle with violence of action, I expect somebody to be standing right at the tip of my muzzle. If they're not, I'm pleasantly surprised, but every once in a while, somebody's there. So this allows me to avoid having to start my decision process after I have already taken the angle. The mindset that you need to cultivate if you are going to fight inside of structures is that of a hunter, and a hunter expects to find prey all the time. Every time you're exposed to a new piece of terrain, you need to expect to find somebody there. The good news is we can not only practice violent movements around angles, uh, we can also cultivate the mindset of expecting to find somebody throughout our daily life. We don't have to be in a shoot house or on a range. Uh, we can do this at work, we can do it at home. Uh, pretty soon you'll find that they become habit and you'll turn every corner that way. You will expect to find somebody around every angle that you turn. Once you begin to cultivate that mindset, it'll make you a much more effective fighter should it ever come to you needing those skills.